Glencore has a clear ambition to be net zero CO2 emissions by the year 2050, and we would have achieved that by reducing our coal production considerably. We also are fortunate enough to have the right commodity mix to ensure we can produce the commodities required for the renewable energy future. What we have decided as Glencore, it's better to keep the coal assets in a safe pair of hands such as ourselves, and we'll wind down coal by the year 2035, where we have stated we will reduce our scope one, two, and three emissions by 40%. Well, how do we achieve that? We will be coming to the end of the life mines in Colombia and a large amount in South Africa, but will continue the high quality production of its coal in Australia. We will be advancing carbon capture storage around the world to reduce scope three emissions. In the renewable energy space, you need our commodities. If you want to have wind power, if you want to have solar power, battery storage systems, electric vehicles, you need copper, zinc, nickel, cobalt, vanadium. And we are, I believe, the only mining company that has all these commodities and the ability to continue expanding production by either its brownfield, easy expandable tonnages, or greenfield potential mines which you can grow in the future. The company continues to develop renewable forms of energy at its operations. Today, we have wind turbines at Raglan, our nickel mine up in Canada. We also have a large amount of hydro at various operations around the world. We're developing various solar type projects in other parts of the world. In South Africa, we're reviewing those projects to ensure that our ferro alloy uh, smelters can utilize solar energy. There's no question with the amount of demand for batteries in electric vehicles, recycling is going to become extremely important. We fortunately in Glencore have various sites across the world where we recycle these products and therefore that gives us an extra leg in this whole cycle. The recycling, I believe, is going to be an important component of Glencore's portfolio. I have no doubt that Glencore will meet these commitments of 2035 and 2050 because we have laid out a clear plan how we get there. It's not a wishy-washy scenario, it's a clear scenario, clear statement how we get there and we can be checked yearly to prove we practice what we preach. <laughs>